today I'm gonna teach you how to launch a Jupyter notebook uh, on a compute node of a cluster, a supercomputer. So basically, as an example, I'm gonna show you um, here a, a document that I have already uh, created for my students to how to get connected to a cluster node of uh, any 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 cluster. And uh, here, as an example, I'm going to show you uh, for our cluster at U of H Sabine cluster. So you have to follow these steps that are shown here. And this is a document that I've already created for my students. And basically, I'm going to go through this step by step and show you how you can get connected to the server. So what uh, what is uh, this important is that uh, the important uh, point of it is that uh, you can run a Jupyter notebook on the server and then get connected to that remotely from your computer and um, you can do all the calculations on the server all your big pre big data processing on the server and at the same time connect to that uh, uh, live with your uh, remote computer so uh, this is going to be very useful especially if you have a lot of data especially at this uh, age of big data and then uh, you want to do all these big calculations uh, but you cannot do that on your computer because of you can because of the computational limitations of your computer or memory or ram or hard disk uh, storage limitations that you have on your computer so you have you copy or you have all the data on the server it could be any simulation data it could be um, i don't know experimental data it could be um, a lot of different data that you might have and then you want to connect uh, you want to uh, do all the calculations there uh, like uh, with any language that you like uh, for example python julia or other 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 uh, languages that have uh, kernels the, for jupyter notebook and then you can do those calculations there and then you want to uh, connect to that so this this way is going to create a you um, uh, in convenient uh, comfortable and convenient environment in which you can uh, connect to the server and start um, working on your project so let's go through these steps uh, one by one so first in order to uh, get connected to the server i need to uh, run our uh, VPN so let's let me make sure our VPN yes our VPN is connected so I'm just gonna run um, I'm just gonna SSH to our server so that's the first thing we need to do you need to SSH to your server and I am assuming that you know how to do this so this is gonna be my username this is the server so I am going to Right password yes so now I am connected to the server so uh, now I ha you have to create a batch file in which you specify how to how you want to run your Jupyter notebook so here I have already created this it's very easy you will uh, if you don't know how to do it you will just make a VI and then launch let's say uh, let's say launch notebook 2 okay so I'm gonna tell you how you can do it uh, line by one line by line so let's go through this um, let me to make this easier I'm gonna use tmux now we have two uh, tabs and let's here see the first one so um, let me let me rename this launch to to launch notebook new so we better understand their difference so here I'm gonna open the new one and here I'm gonna open the one that I've already done so I'm gonna go through this that what this means line, line by uh, line okay so let's copy this first okay 
let's go through this okay the first line just says that this is a bash file here are some uh, parameters that depends on your cluster or your server so uh, this is a slarm uh, this server uses a slarm scheduler so it depends on uh, what your uh, server what scheduler your uh, server uses but typically they use slarm so for a slarm you can use this sbatch uh, command um, so the first one for j here shows the name of the job so i just named it as jupiter where you can name it whatever you want so it's uh, an arbitrary name based on what you want so the second one is the time that you request to submit this job and to have this jupiter running so you can uh, choose whatever the time you want so this can be 12 hours 50 minutes and zero seconds uh, it can be 24 hours uh, but uh, just uh, note that in most of the servers uh, for uh, the schedulers they usually if you ask for a longer run time uh, it's gonna stay longer in the queue so it's gonna take longer to run so here just an example I'm gonna do a 30 minutes run so it's very simple and easy and then here you are gonna uh, specify the number of nodes and processors that you want to have for this uh, Jupyter notebook instance that you're gonna create so I just added a one uh, so the number of nodes to be one is very easy and simple and uh, it, it can be a lot if you if you have a very heavy job you can increase this so you can increase the number of uh, nodes on the server that you want to use for example it can be five nodes ten nodes or whatever depending on your um, on your um, analysis or on, on your use that you want to have okay and also you can assign memory and other things so i'm not going to go through those because those are uh, out of the scope of this uh, this video but later on we can uh, that's uh, like uh, more specific to the uh, sbash and uh, to this bash uh, scripts so the first thing here i want to load the anaconda so the depending on your server you might have um, uh, different modules so you have to look at it by doing this module avail so you will look at uh, all the modules that are for example installed here so here we have like anaconda 2 which is python 2 anaconda 3 and different uh, different Python uh, that are installed in our server so you can look at it yourself by doing module avail which shows the available mod uh, modules and um, based on that you can you can select the one that you want so here I'm gonna do Python 3 so I, I want to do module anaconda 3 I load this one and then this one we create uh, for some environmental variables and then here you run and we will run the Jupyter notebook with no browser and uh, this is gonna run in our the directory that you want I just noted it as home but you can change it depending on your uh, what you want so this is gonna be yeah this is gonna be our uh, new notebook so now that we have this uh, okay so we have this I want to um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this so I will run I will type s patch which is kind of uh, it's gonna run a shell so launch new notebook and new and then this is gonna submit a job to the server so you can see this job will run under this and uh, this is uh, something depending on the server and then I'm gonna run sq-u my username that I connected to the server so yeah this is this job is now running so it's been running for four seconds now so what I'm gonna do next is that uh, you see a new uh, slarm job that is cr uh, created here a slarm output I'm gonna go through that so it still seems uh, nothing there so it's still doing some initializations let me do it again to see yes it's been just for 34 seconds so 
still nothing there. Yeah, so we have to wait until uh, we observe that it's been run. But one thing that you want to remember is this uh, node. So we want to know which node it is because later on we are going to connect to that uh, through that node. So the next thing I want to do uh, until this job uh, completely runs is that I'm going to go to a new tab here on my remote computer. So this is still, uh, this is my computer. And then I want to connect to, uh, I want to do a SSH port forwarding. So I want to uh, do a SSH for, port forwarding here to that server and to that session that I've already created. So what I'm going to do, I know uh, I want to copy this uh, note. Okay, and then I'm going to go through here. Let's see. So this is going to do a SSH port forwarding for us for port 8080 for both sides on the server and on the local machine. And here I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put the server node that was here. So it's on the node list. So this is the name of the node. And then here I'm going to do, I'm going to just connect through uh, server. So this is like a simple SSH, but this is what this is going to do is that it's going to do a port forwarding. So this is going to forward our 88 port to the server and node a node uh, compute two one on the server cluster. Okay. So Now we are connected to that again. So let's see uh, whether we have this. Yeah, now we have it. So on the server, you can see uh, this uh, in the output of this slurm job. You can see that the, this has been run. So here it says copy paste this URL into your browser when you connect for the first time. And then I have already done the port forwarding. So now I, I should be able to connect uh, to server uh, via this, um, uh, via my browser to, uh, through this uh, URL that is given. So I, I bring this, uh, I open a new browser uh, tab. For example, it could be uh, Google Chrome. Here you go. So we are already connected to the server now. So this is for the on the server, and I can create a Python Python three, and here you go. So you can do uh, any calculations. Let's say a sample notebook, and let's say print three times three. And this is all done on the server now. So if you don't believe me, let's do ls to see that. We are on the server, right? We had this slurm file, we had this launch notebook, and to make sure, again, you can see it here, that we have the same files here. So you, you can see that we are now on the server and uh, we can do whatever calculations we want on the server and use the computation power uh, on the server. So hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions just send me uh, your question in the comments and uh, just one last comment that this job is going to run for 30 minutes based on what we have indicated before. Um, so you can see it on the and this launch new here that I created. And uh, this is going to die after 30 minutes. And uh, so you, you just assign it based on your need. And uh, yeah, so at the end, I'm going to kill it because I don't need it at the moment. But yeah, you see that uh, it's killed. Thank you very much, everyone.